Hey everyone, Caleb with Antique Book Collective, and today I'm getting to you guys with Alice in Wonderland. And I just wanted to share with you guys a short little thing. Uh, I'm actually busy right now, so I'm trying to make this short. But what I have to share about this book is, honestly, it's sort of like a be on the lookout for this one because... First off, I see some other YouTubers do this, but second off, I didn't expect this book to be worth as much as it was. So this book, I paid five bucks for it, uh, a lot more than what I wanted to spend, but I was, uh, this person that I bought this uh, this from had a, several different Alice in Wonderlands. I was like, all right, I'll just buy them all right off the bat. So I bought this one among the other ones, and when I was looking for this particular one, I could not find it uh, anywhere. It Honestly, I was looking and looking and looking. Uh, for any comps, couldn't find any comps. This one doesn't have a copyright uh, date, so as you can see, here's the title page, nothing uh, about a date there, and then here's the page opposite of it where the copyright info would be. And sometimes you can uh, put together where the book is from, like when it's from, that sort of stuff, based on the advertising in the back of the book, but uh, that's not the case in this book. Uh, oftentimes it's not the case, but sometimes you can get lucky, but obviously I did not get lucky here. So I just said in the listing, I'm like, hey, I uh, don't know when this book's from. I suspect it's from this time. So I think I said I suspected this was from the 1940s, or I don't even know if I mentioned that for sure. Uh, it doesn't really matter. But at the end of the day, I was like, I'm going to do bidding for this because sometimes when I have no idea what a book's worth, I'll just do a little auction for it because like, I know for a fact that it's worth at least this much. So if it sells for that much, I'm happy. But if it sells for more than that, I'm even happier. So for this one, I actually was asking five bucks for the starting bid, which would have been technically break even since I paid five. But at the end of the day, I'd actually be losing because of eBay fees and all that sort of stuff. But uh, I was asking five because I knew it would go past five and I dropped it to five because I knew that if it started low, there'd be more interest. So I got several watchers on it. Uh, I want to say at least a dozen, probably more i don't remember for sure it wasn't too important though uh but this book i did a seven day auction and i got a bid right off the bat for the five bucks and i was like okay well it's gonna sell hopefully it goes a little bit higher uh like three days ago right before it sold um i got like 20 bids all at once and got it all the way up to like nine dollars fifty cents and i was like well i guess i'm in the black i mean not much but okay and then the day of right as the auction was closing you guys will probably know this happens all the time if you run any auctions is at the end of the auction there's always a lot of bids all at once and this one at the very end had a couple more bids so it went from 950 up to a couple more dollars it got to 56 bucks guys this book got to 56 dollars which i was shocked about like i was expecting this book to get to like 20 tops but 56 i was like wow that's over 10 times what i started the bid at so i'm excited i was happy and uh, i just wanted to tell you guys that little story though because there is something that i found is definitely the case with this alice in wonderland book and with other alice in wonderlands and that is the illustrator so as you guys can see the illustrator is john tiniel uh that's how i pronounced his name um that's how i think it's right but uh it says there's 42 illustrations that were done by that guy so let me just find one of those illustrations right quick for y'all uh here's one with some birds so i hope that's good enough for you guys to see um it's a little bit of a light illustration but here's the illustration for the title page just so you guys can see that one but uh they're pretty neat illustrations they are what you expect from an alice in wonderland illustration like these are the classic illustrations that everyone thinks about when they think alice in wonderland or almost everyone at least uh and something important is this john tenniel guy he is a pretty well-known illustrator because of this work and because of other works so what i wanted to share with you guys about this be on the lookout is look for uh early editions of alice in wonderland that were illustrated by this john tenniel guy and as i said i had several editions of alice in wonderland that i bought from this one estate sale and i have sold i want to say two of them i did those as uh buy it nows but this is the only one i did as an auction but honestly uh, i think i have a couple more and i probably will run those as auctions as well just because uh now i know that there is a bigger value to those i knew that there was a value beforehand and i actually ran comps on some of them so maybe this one was just worth more than the others which is uh probable honestly because i could not find any others like this one the other ones there were comps and those comps were lower so honestly it might be worth mixing and matching and seeing what works best for you guys your mileage may vary you know but uh, at the end of the day guys it definitely could be worth keeping your eyes out for and at the end of the day also alice in wonderland is just an easy sale across the board because like everyone and their cat wants to buy an early Alice in Wonderland for some reason like for me I think well it's popular enough there's enough copies from like 
a hundred and some years of it's being of it being out, you know. So it's like it's not the most rare book, so it's easy to get your hands on. So it sort of makes sense, but it's sort of at the same time like, why would someone buy like ten copies of it though? Because I've seen people that own like so many copies of the same exact book. It's like you don't run a library. What's the point? I don't know, but I know plenty of people that do it, and honestly. I have several copies of a few books, so I mean, I can't really judge, but I still think it's sort of funny. So with all that said and done, though, guys, again, keep your eye out for Alice in Wonderland. That is illustrated by John Tinniel because those can be worth a good chunk of money. Plus, they're just really cool and they're neat and lots of pretty stuff. And I think you guys would really enjoy selling books like this. So with all that said and done, though, guys, I would love for you guys to watch one of my other videos. I'd love for you guys to subscribe, drop a like, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.